Hey guys, Gravender here. What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Marvel Contest of Champions and the How to Effectively Use series. Now today we're going to be taking a look at Civil Warrior. Like I said, I keep delaying uh, doing Iron Patriot and thankfully I had Civil Warrior that I didn't do. I don't know why I didn't back him up, back up and do him uh, whenever I did uh, Civil War Black Panther, but I, I just completely forgot about the guy for some reason. I have had him for a little while now as a three star, and if you watched the video yesterday, I did awaken him as a three star. Now, Civil Warrior is one of those characters who is absolutely amazing for Alliance Wars defense. Even if he's not awakened, doesn't matter if he's awakened, but when he is awakened, he is even more beastly, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. So we're looking at the base stats here. 669 as a rank 1 level 10 of 10 for a, a 3 star. 1923 on the health, 169 on attack. He does have the abilities heal block, armor, and power drain. So these are absolutely awesome for defensive purposes. Uh, it's it's just really uh, phenomenal, but that's not even the best case scenario for him. He has so many more abilities within his uh, ability screen that we're going to take a look at here. Arc Shield. An upgrade to Civil Warrior's Arc Shield grants him two armor up charges at the start of the fight. Additionally, he receives 14.5 special damage resistance while blocking. Now, the key thing with defense in Alliance Wars, we all know, it's AI. So there's no uh, there's no way we're going to set it up to where it's going to play our same style. Like most of us, we don't really block a whole lot. It's not heavy blocking. Um, we, we normally try to parry. We normally try to evade. But while we're in Alliance Wars defense as AI characters, I'm pretty sure they do a lot more heavy blocking. At least that's what I've seen from uh, encounters that I've gone up against. So if they can potentially be in a blocking stance right before someone uses their L1, L2, he's grabbing a 14.5 special damage resistance while blocking. Now I'm not sure what his base stat uh, block proficiency is, but to me this guy is probably one of the better blocking champions in the game. Uh, you can see from the footage that's going to play up in the top right hand corner, he he literally takes hardly any damage while he's in block form, uh, especially from special attacks. If you watch the one where I did with Hawkeye, he was literally taking little to no damage. And these are guys that have way more PI than he does, so they're definitely higher rank than him, heavy more heavy hitters than he is. And off of his special 1 and special 2 attack, so Warrior's like taking literally zilch as far as damage goes. Which is really counterintuitive to the fact that he is so low ranked right now. Heavy attacks, an 88% chance to inflict heal block, preventing the target from recovering health for 3 seconds. Most of us aren't really going to get hit with a heavy attack, but if we do... He's good he stands a pretty decent chance, and I, I tried to do as many heavy attacks in the videos as I possibly could to kind of show it off. It was like maybe one in every four that didn't catch. But a three-second heal block can be the can be a game changer in this whole thing. So I, if, let's say you were really low to life, or the opponent that was going up against you was really low to life, and they had willpower. Well, if they've also got the... Uh, Suicide Masteries, that three second window with a bleed or a poison on could be a huge, huge detriment to the person that's going up against this guy on defense. Special attacks, if the opponent is under the effect of a heal block debuff, that heal block is replaced with a 10 second heal block. So think, think about that. If the opponent is under the effect of a heal block, debuff that heal block is replaced with a 10 second heal block so you're going from three seconds to 10 seconds if they have it and then you hit a special attack so that's that's even more tremendous to go up against these guys that have the suicide masteries it's gonna be a full 10 seconds that they're going to take their own buff basically essentially 
I mean, they get this buff from the Suicide Masteries to do more damage, but they counteract it with Willpower, and you're going to counteract it with a Heal Block. When attacked, for each Armor Up effect active, Civil Warrior's Advanced Stark Tech protects him further, reducing enemy offense ability accuracy by 12% per Armor Up charge. You can also see from the video above, in the first fight, I did a lot, a lot of special one attacks, which is what we get our armor up from. So any offensive ability accuracy is going to be dropped by sometimes up to six. That's the most I've got. I'm sure that you can go a lot higher if you stack the uh, special ones, especially the way that they need to be stacked, but I mean, that's just insane. That's something that could absolutely counteract a character like Black Widow. Blocking. 17% chance to armor up, reducing damage from attacks by 6% for 6.25 seconds. So, not really the highest chance in the world. We did get a couple of them in a few of the fights from blocking uh, to get that 6% for 6.25 seconds. But again, not the best chances in the world. Special Attack 1. This is the kicker. Civil Warrior triggers his advanced Stark tech, gaining four armor up charges, each increasing armor by 12% for 10 seconds. This is why this guy is so, I mean, not even so, it's not even the biggest reason, but it's one of the hugest reasons why he is so awesome uh, in Alliance Wars on defense. Four armor up charges, increasing his armor by 12% for 10 seconds when he uses a special one attack. If you've gone up against as many Alliance Wars defensive combatants as I have, you know for the most part, they're usually going to pop off their special one attacks, or at least that's the one that you want them to pop off most of the time. This guy, however, he is not the one you want to pop off a special one attack, because if he is on an enhanced ability node, or if he is on an armor break, or an armor up node that increases the armor up they're gonna last longer or an enhanced ability node they, it's gonna make these last longer so he's gonna sit there with four armor up charges for almost 20 seconds probably sometimes it can last so long it lasts long enough for him to at least charge back up to a special one attack get that and he's gonna be sitting at, at potentially eight eight charges and it, it's it's insane i went up against one of these guys let me tell you this story i went up against one of these civil warriors in alliance wars defense on the mini boss node just before the main boss in the center row center column and he was nuts he was absolutely nuts he popped off at least four special attack ones Armor up, I think his armor ups were probably close to up to 12 at one point. There, there was no damage being done to him whatsoever. I didn't even leave a dent in the guy because of that. Special attack 2, depletes up to 48% of the target's max power. Other than the fact that it's a really cool move, I, I kind of like it. Um, it's it's kind of in the same vein a little bit as, as, as uh, Falcon's special 2 attack. But I like it. I like the character. I like his fight style. I like his, his special abilities. Special Attack 3, 100% chance to power drain, bleeding up to 42% of the target's max power. If the target is reduced to zero power from this attack, they also become power locked for six seconds. So let's just say, potentially, if you were to uh, cause them to bait out of their specials, on their L1s every single time and you built up to a special 3 attack you've essentially got a 100% chance to drain 42% they're not going to be at 42% they'll be close to none and you're going to power lock them for 6 seconds so that's 6 seconds of you just being able to waylay on them and they're not going to gain any power this guy is a complete and total defensive nightmare in my opinion I, I think he's absolutely awesome. The only things that I, I really don't think that he has going for him is his synergy bonuses. 5% armor with Winter Soldier, 5% armor with Falcon, 
and a 4% perfect block chance with guillotine. Now, saying that, these actually work to his benefit. With as much armor up as he's possibly going to get, if you have all three of those other characters in there, he's going to be a total nightmare. <laughs> I mean, that's just the way it is. This guy is a very, very underrated because I don't think a lot of people have him or know how to effectively use him in thinking that he's not that great of a character. But he is absolutely insane as an Alliance Wars defensive character. As long as you can get him on an enhanced armor up node or enhanced ability nodes, anything of that nature really lets this character shine through. Uh, it's it's just, it's insane what the guy can do. So if you have him as a four star, if you have him even awakened as a four star, put him in Alliance Wars defense, try him out. And I guarantee you, you will not be displeased with the damage that he can, he can actually do. The only way that you're going to be displeased is if you go up if he goes up against someone who actually knows how to fight him and can really bait him out of those special two attacks and keep him from using the special ones. Because if he's on an enhanced armor up node or an enhanced ability node and they can't bait him into a special two and he keeps popping off special one attacks, they're in for a nightmare of a long fight. I, I doubt they would even last the duration of the fight. but. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Hopefully, you guys learned a little bit of something. If you did, let me know about it in the comment section below. Did I change your mind on Civil Warrior? Do you still think he's crap? Do you think he's pretty awesome now? But that's going to be it. Thank you, guys. If you're new to the channel, please consider leaving a sub on it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it. And as always, guys, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Later.